74th floor or some enormous building, a long, long boardroom, you know, with one of those oval tables, chairs all around, a whole gathering of men and women from apparently all around the world, from, from what I can see. Um, particularly there was a beautiful African woman who was wearing kind of an orange and black thing. We had a little couple of weeks after that, but that's another story. Um, <laughs> and they said, you are now the handsomest man in the world. It's, it's an appointment. And it was a life, of, life appointment. There's nothing you can do, but I couldn't refuse it. There was no, it was just, I, no matter what I said it did, sort of like the Dalai Lama kind of thing. You're, you're just either the Dalai Lama or you're not the Dalai Lama. Well, now I was going to be the handsomest man in the world. And uh, over time, they explained to me, first of all, it meant um, unlimited expensive. That was just one thing. He, and then uh, a nine-room duplex on Fifth Avenue, house in the Hamptons. This, sort of, this was you know, the, the, the official residences kind of thing. And my job was basically to go about the world in times of crisis and um, see what I could do to help. And just be there, sort of a, a, a diplomat kind of thing. And for instance, well, I, I really did my best with Charles and Diana, but of course I just, there was just only so much I could do. And uh, <laughs> I'm just back in Egypt, but again, uh, more serious. It's very, very complicated. I don't really get it. I had not made all the successes. Um, but I do my best, and it's just continuing. It's been about 20 years now, and uh, it's nice. I mean, I'm, I'm the handsomest man in the world, and so that's about that. But now, so people think, well, he must be a stuck-up. He must be fake. Yeah, no, I'm the handsomest man in the world. That's not like that at all. It just isn't. And I really got to tell you from my heart, it just isn't like that at all. I mean, I think, I look in the mirror, you know, I'm a decent, reasonably decent looking guy, don't you think? No. <laughs> but, you know, but I'm okay. I mean, you know, uh, I'm not, you know, just, but, you know, my wife seems to like me. You know, that I just go with that. But, I've been appointed. I am the handsomest of the world. There's nothing I can do about it. Now, and what I want to say is anyone who, who gets to think that maybe I'm vain will think, what a positive thing it is, and I encourage everyone to do it, and the ladies too, to look in the mirror and say, I'm the handsomest man in the world. You just try it sometimes. I'm the most beautiful woman in the world, and it does something to you. It lifts your spirit. It picks you up. It, uh, it's, it feels good. And uh, so uh, again, just sort of a kind of self-help therapy, you could call it. I really encourage anyone to give it a try. But what you've got to remember is, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> ah.